Okay, so, so let me there, – there's quite a breakdown to provide here. Um, if you're a fan of the Batman Arkham franchise, you'll know that there was this game that was a prequel to the entire franchise called Batman Arkham Origins. This game, in its conception, was developed to essentially be a filler game to fill the gap between Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Knight as developed by Rocksteady. It turns out that the game was actually pretty good, at least in my opinion, and has since grown quite the critical acclaim, or at least like this, this cult following amongst the fan base and people recognizing that, hey, this is a pretty well-written game. And had it not been rushed to meet that mandate of being the game that fills that gap, it might have ended up being one of the best in the franchise. You could clearly see that there's a really good foundation there. So since then, WB Montreal the guys who developed this game uh, have been working and they've been doing stuff behind the scenes. They've been working. They've been working. Um, They've been working on things like the DLC for Batman Arkham Knight. They've been working on things like certain assets for Injustice 2. They've been working on all sorts of different things because they are like a sister company to WB Games. But on top of all this, there's been a lot of rumors, a lot of rumblings, a lot of speculation that they were making a new Batman Arkham game. And that it was to feature in the comic books Damian Wayne, who is Batman's son, as the main protagonist. This game got canceled based on the rumors that had been reported. There was also apparently a Suicide Squad game being developed by WB Montreal that then also got canceled, which I guess in some way got passed on to Rocksteady. Um, now, here we are. And another situation where after the cancellation of that original Batman game that WB Montreal had planned, they are working on another one. And they've been teasing it since September of last year when they put out this tweet for Batman Day that featured these cryptic logos. They then officially revealed these logos with a caption that said hashtag capture the night. And one of the logos looks to be related to one of the big villains in comic books to Batman known as the League of Assassins. And there's also been heavy rumor as Scott Snyder, the writer of Batman Court of Owls in the comic books, ended up tweeting out hashtag beware the Court of Owls when these logos were released. He deleted that tweet almost immediately because I'm assuming he wasn't supposed to put that up. Now here we are almost a year later and they put out a new tweet with some dots and dashes in Morse code. It's legit and that. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. legit that. It's it was it was dots and dashes yeah. of Morse code, and it was a video that featured some flashing logos again, similar to what they did on Batman Day last year. Um, one of the logos that flashes was an owl. It looks like an owl. Um, so everyone's saying that, you know, once again, big tease for the court of owls there. And it turns out that the Morse code actually translates to an IP address for a website known as redacted.com. Now, redacted.com. You now you got to go look there. But, Is but now, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it's spelled, <laughs> it's spelled with the E's replaced with threes. And the C in redacted is a K. So it's like Whoa. R3. Edgy. D-A-K-T-3-D. Okay, so you wow. go to this website. You go to this website, um, which I'm going to go to I it right now. This is creeping me out. I hate when I see more <laughs> Like someone's gonna like show up and be here any moment. <laughs> it's weird. It's, it's weird. Um, um, it's me. I'm just, yeah, doing all this. So, <laughs> you have like a double life, a split personality. I know. It's like, wait, yeah. it's there. <laughs> so, so you go to this website and it like it counts up to 100%, and then a message appears on screen that says, We have been expecting you. Eight slash 18. So, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh. Um, and there's a countdown at the bottom for 24 hours. That It's now at 18 hours, 47 minutes remaining. So oh, something's happening that? tomorrow. Um, however, oh, a bunch That's of folks really in the Batman, in it's, it's really hidden in there. So the, however, a bunch of folks in the Batman Arkham community went all hacker man and started to inspect the page source and all that and mess around with stuff. And they found that Essentially, what's going to happen is, potentially at least, maybe maybe this is going to be different, we don't know, but tomorrow is going to be the beginning of four clues that we have to find through this website that will lead up to the reveal at DC Fandom this Saturday, August 22nd, where we're going to get a full trailer yeah. reveal for this game. That is okay. super creative on how to do this. A lot of work, yeah. obviously, for the core fans. Malik, Alex, did you guys hear about this or see the video release on I, Twitter today? I did. I, did oh, I, I heard forgot. Got it. 
<laughs> I forgot <laughs> about the whole Court of Owls thing until Kabu yeah. said that. I forgot that that's what they had been teasing. I'm excited for this. I want a new Batman game so bad. Well, yes. it's like, I feel like, oh my god, I'm getting the chills again, talking Batman. Um, There's also, like, I'm looking at the page right now. There's words. Uh-huh. There's, like, two columns of like a scrolling of words it's really blurred out but i feel yeah. like someone's gonna like decipher all that craziness and we're gonna get more information mm-hmm. how do you like them doing like alex i know like you haven't seen this before but how do you like uh wb montreal kind of putting out more information on their games in this really creative way oh, i think that's awesome i mean i guess like uh, when people they like opt to not do that stuff is because usually it's like kind of hard to get people excited about yeah. like secrets because I think like right now everyone kind of just wants information now all the yeah. time mm-hmm. like, in general. So I mean I really respect that they did that and I mean it works. Like I mean I'm not as big a fan as you guys, but seeing all the stuff I was like wow that's really cool. Also the word redacted is really cool and mysterious and edgy. <laughs> <laughs> is redacted all day to prepare for tomorrow <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah um, I, but i feel like this is going to be really interesting uh because i just wanted to touch on something that you did mention that i didn't even i completely forgot well i didn't forget i just it just wasn't in my you know my mind mm-hmm, at the moment mm-hmm. but that rocks or sorry that there was a tease that they were also going to do the suicide squad game right do you th- well way back when Right, uh, right. Do you think that it was a decision? Like, because, okay, if I am looking at Batman as an IP, I know the Rocksteady Batmans, like the Arkham series, did really well. Wouldn't you put a core Batman game to them and give maybe WB Montreal Suicide Squad? Well, apparently WB Montreal was working on both. And that was that was per rumors. That's what they were doing. And W Montreal is a pretty big studio. Um, they are, you know, they, but they, I mean, they got like, a lot of people there. The success um, of Arkham, like you know, like I would be like, okay, if I'm looking at a core, because Suicide Squad, it's it's Suicide Squad. They are the focal yeah. point of the game. Obviously, yeah. we're anticipating because that's how they revealed it, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like when you're putting a Batman game, which this is, we know it's Batman, right? Yeah, you would want to put that in the hands of Rocksteady, who did really well with Batman. No, uh, I mean they they I think they closed the hatchet on mm-hmm. uh, on their story with Batman. Arkham Knight was very much like this is it. Like we have closed this chapter now. Um, now whether or not with Suicide Squad they're gonna have because it's called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which what a freaking title for a game. Um, so like. Are they going to have Batman in there? Is it going to be connected to the Arkham games? Is it going to be the Batman from Arkham Knight, given we what we know about what happens to that character at the end of that game? Um, I don't know. I, I Again, to, in talking about Arkham Origins, it was a rushed game, so it came yeah. out a bit of a buggy mess, and the open world wasn't as lived in the way that we felt Arkham City or Arkham Asylum was. Um, so there was definitely some problems with Arkham Origins, but I think narratively, it is, like, exceptional. Like, mm-hmm. a really good... Yeah, it is, it is written really well. I remember um, being shocked by that story. Like, I remember they took Bane, which I think Rocksteady kind of butchered, and they made him amazing. Like, the best part about that game is the interpretation and the portrayal of Bane, um, at least until, like, towards the end. But anyways, the point is, narratively, they did a really good job with Batman Arkham Origins. And considering how long they've taken to develop this game, I'd like to imagine... Now that they've had the time to iron out kinks to make sure they deliver a well-refined product that isn't full of bugs, that we could expect a really good game out of it from WB oh. Montreal. You know, oh, and oh. and I think if Rock City again, if Rock City wanted to work on Suicide Squad, if that's the project that you know after the cancellation from WB Montreal, they were like, well, hey, listen, we have an idea for that as well. And if that's the project that they got the green light on and that they're wanting to work on then I have full faith that they're going to do a good job with that. The same way with WB Montreal, after going through two canceled projects to then land on whatever there are with this and to have put all the development time that they have with this, I'm assuming it's because they're very passionate about it. They know they got something good on their hands. And the same with WB Games for allowing it to go into full production to get the green light and all that. So I imagine we got two potential really good, really fun, super exciting DC games with WB Montreal's Batman and Rocksteady Suicide Squad. And I trust both studios 
to do a great job with those projects. I agree. Uh, Fortune, Fortune, yeah, they better. They better or Caboose will find them. Um, Fortune said, think about this. Rocksteady are pioneers. If you're going to do something different like Suicide Squad, you want a team that's experienced in making new experiences at the helm. That's a really good point. I didn't really mm -hmm. think about that. Yeah. Um, be just because I was thinking about Origins wasn't didn't have the success off the bat. It was harder for people to digest be, that were waiting for that next Rocksteady experience. So, uh, you know, I'm just thinking from that point of uh, perspective. 4G also says, I tend to avoid hype trains when a game is far off. If I had, I would have been pissed off when they released those logos last year, then went quiet. I feel that. Um, and I think the logos were earlier this year, right? Was it earlier this there year? Was, there was one other logo they released earlier this year in January. Yeah. Um, and then they went radio silent. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, the original ones were actually last year. I completely forgot about that. Yes. Um, so how do you do you think do you guys think we're going to see more, like gameplay on um, DC fandom or are we going to just see a story CG animated teaser? I'd, I'd say when it comes to Suicide Squad, don't expect much more than a CG thing. Yeah. And I'd say when it comes to Batman, that it's farther along than most people might think, especially considering WB Montreal was con comfortable with teasing it last year. Yes. Um, so I feel like that's probably the first project up uh, versus Suicide Squad coming later. And honestly, like there have been some people who are speculating it might even come out later this year. I would like that to be the case. And I do have a little bit of hope that that's the case because WB, they've had a trend of like, we're going to announce a game and release it like a couple of months later. You know, yeah. that was the original plan for Arkham Knight. It got delayed, but that was the original plan for Arkham Knight. That's what they did for MK11 very recently. You know, they revealed at the Game Awards and the game was out like four months later. Um, so I could see that being the case that Batman comes out this year. But I also think because of the COVID situation and because of everything going on, it might have got pushed a little bit. So maybe like early to mid 2021, you mm -hmm. can expect that Batman game. But I, I'd say there's a good chance we see gameplay. Well, Arkham Origins came out in October 2013. 2013, yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe another fall release from the studio? Who knows? We'll, Could we'll be. Just have to kind of wait and see, cross our fingers. We got to see tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Well, maybe. should we try to like all decode it and then compare notes? And then I'll just like... talk to who I think's right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like once it hits 11 a.m. tomorrow, which is apparently when all this is going to go down, that like the whole community is immediately going to have it ready to go. Because I woke minutes. up not expecting this stuff to come out this morning. Um, and so I wake up and like everything's deciphered already. The Morse code is deciphered into the website. The website showcases that that tease, the, the little message. And like everyone had already figured it out. I was I was late to it all. But I'll tell you what, uh, this brings me back to like, I think it was it was Halo 2 or Halo 3. ARGs, man. Yep. ARGs are so much fun. Yeah. And what's so fun about them is that they're teases for a game that are confined within a bubble of really hardcore fans. Yes. And like 99% of the people that are going to get this Batman game will have never known about these teases and probably yeah. don't even know any of this exists right now. But... For the hardcore fans like myself, like all of us here, it's for them. And that's what's awesome. And we get to play this little game leading up to the actual reveal of the game itself, which I think is just, it's just fun. It's interactive and it keeps everyone talking. Yeah. Everything's yeah. a game. Everything. 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 Want to play a game. <laughs> oh, that one's really, really, really good. Uh, Roger says like this whole <laughs> logo thing kind of reminds them of Metroid logo. Remember when Nintendo teased Metroid? Oh, man. Yeah. Still oh, not there. Yeah. But this is, we know it's coming. It's, you know, we know we're almost there. They're, they're ramping up the teases. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we see more of the gameplay, less of that CG trailer. I feel like they have to do that, especially because then we're coming on almost a full year since they initially uh, teased the game. So there would be lots of disappointed fans if they don't show more than the CG trailer. But yeah, we'll just have to keep waiting. Uh, so that's it for today, guys, uh, it's been a really good one. There's been lots of not too much heated topics. I think we've been all <laughs> on the same page for the most part. Um, but there's Except a for lot. Alex not playing Ghost of Tsushima, but like, yeah. I know, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how much did Camille play? 
Wait, yeah. Ooh. I'm dragging you down with me. <laughs> I was like, everyone's getting dragged down. But no, we had a lot of stories today that I think we're going to probably revisit because they're they're ongoing developments. It wasn't just like the story broke and that's it. So guys, make sure that you let us know what you want to talk about next when we get more information about any of these stories or any stories for that matter. You know, we do it here every Monday from 3 p.m. Eastern and, you know, a little bit over an hour and we just chat it up. But we're also doing gameplay as well. I'll be uh, playing yeah. tomorrow and Wednesday from 12 to 4. I don't know yet what I'm going to play. I'm thinking Hyperscape. Maybe give that a try. There you go. Dr. <laughs> Disrespect is getting his own Hyperscape map. So, Oh, no, it's Rogue Company, I think. Rogue, Rogue. Yeah. Rogue is it Rogue? Okay. He's getting his own map. Oh, sorry. Yeah, oh, sorry. I, yeah, it is Rogue. I want to try Rogue, too. I don't know what I'm going to play, but I'll figure it out. And then <laughs> play we one have, game. Yeah, play, I'll play that one game tomorrow and Wednesday. Um, then we have uh, Brody, who will be streaming on Thursday and Friday. Oh, wait. Thursday, Friday. Friday. I'm like, did I miss a day in the week? And then we have Alex <laughs> streaming on um, Saturday and Sunday. Some league from two to six. Is that the time that we decided? Is that yes. We, we got it right this time. Two to yes, six. We got this time. Two to six, as Alex would say, your time. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, like, do you have any really cool articles that we should look out for on squadstate.com? Nothing right now. I am working on a Go to Tsushima article. When Legends go. drops, you can expect that I will have all of the guides ready to go for everyone. Whether you're going to be a samurai, a ronin, a ghost. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, other than that, no, Tsushima. just going to keep. Of Tsushima, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep, uh, yeah, just keep writing. Make sure to head over to Squad and uh, check out all the articles over there. Ah, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And remember, if you have any ideas of what we should talk about, make sure to follow us at Squad State on all of our socials as well. You can see all of our individual socials there as well. So hit us up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.